I'm beginning to wonder if it won't be long before he is, if not our captain, certainly our most important player, our spiritual leader ahead even of Harry Kane. Chris, two absolutely fascinating tweets from you on Tuesday night during the England-Italy game. One was a photograph of some pea and ham soup. <laughs> the other one was about Jude Bellingham. Um, I'm more interested in the second one. You described Bellingham as playing a different game to everybody else. It's up to you whether you want to talk about the soup or not. Uh, the, I don't mind talking about the soup. I love pea and ham soup. Uh, I just... I don't know. I don't know where you are on Bellingham. I, I don't know where you are on soup, and frankly, I don't care. But uh, every time I watch him, I just, I, I just marvel uh, with him. He is, for a player so young, he's twenty years old. For heaven's sake, he he is so mature. The way he, the way he plays, the way he conducts himself off the pitch as well. But just just from a playing perspective the way that he moves, he glides, the way that he seems to be like two yards ahead of everybody else on the pitch. And you think, if this is him at 20, if this is him at 20, what on earth is he going to be? What type of player is he going to be at, at, at 25? I'm so, so impressed with him. You do have to remind yourself that he is only 20 years old. Now, in the pages of the Daily Mail and on Daily Mail, uh, Mail Online and our other digital platforms today, we have um, a snippet from a scouting report that a Premier League club wrote about Bellingham back in the day when he was 16. Um, the, this club actually didn't go on to sign him, but he was just when he was playing for Birmingham against Portsmouth in a League Cup game. And he was described as having a fantastic mentality intelligence in terms of finding space, makes plenty of runs away from the ball, doesn't give it away, huge potential, only 16, sign him, develop him, develop him, send him on loan. In 18 months, he will play for our first team. If that, I mean, if you were that scout who'd written that report and your club didn't sign him, as I'm told that club didn't, you'd be pretty frustrated. But that's the level that he, that's the level that he was at when he was 16. He's four years on from that now. I actually think the off-field stuff and the way he speaks uh, and conducts himself really tells you a lot about him. And he's not one of those types of players who seems to, who, who seems that he's ever going to go off the rails. It seems to me he's he's such a a sensible sort of guy, isn't he? Just loves his football. I accuse him of showboating in um, in a game oh, you in did. Um, yeah. Poland when England played Ukraine <laughs> last month. Uh, which, yeah, uh, I forgot seems, that. Yeah, seems a bit ridiculous now. Although, although, although I do I do stand by it because he was showboating that night, but um, he certainly wasn't on Tuesday. And one of the impressive things about him is the way that he he owns that pitch, he, he owns that stadium, he interacts with the crowd. Um, after two minutes of that game on Tuesday, Harry Maguire made a good interception and a good pass. Jude Bellingham started applauding, actually applauding his own teammate while play was going on. That is the level of kind of confidence that this guy has. I'm beginning to wonder if it won't be long before he is, if not our captain, certainly our most important player, our spiritual leader ahead even of Harry Kane. There's just a presence about Bellingham that I think sometimes you actually have to be in the stadium to see it and have to see the effect and the, the ripple effect that it has through the team. There's a presence about Bellingham, an authority about Bellingham. I tell you what, I did think one thing when I was leaving uh, Wembley on Tuesday. England, England, had been, England had been terrific against Italy. But as I was walking uh, along Wembley Way to the Tube, I did just think to myself, if only Dan Byrne had been playing. <laughs> You've got you've got that wrong. Do, do you know what? If they lacked anything, England, they lacked that 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 little bit of balance on the left hand side and that height at the back post as well. 